Hi, in this video we'll see how we can create this animation using uh, shape layers inside of After Effects. It's quite easy actually. Uh, the entire animation that you see, it's just uh, these five shape layers animating over time. I've just uh, retimed them and you know placed them at uh, different intervals of time to get this uh, result. Let's create a new composition. Uh, everything seems to be fine. So to start with, let's just uh, create a shape layer. We'll be using the pen tool. Create a straight line by uh, holding the shift. Uh, before we get started, let's just uh, make sure that this line is at the center of the composition. In the shape layer, by default you will get this fill. We don't need the fill. We'll be just uh, using the stroke. Uh, let's give it a value of 10. What we need right now to create this, we have to make the line disappear basically over time. So for that, we have an option inside of the shape layer, which is uh, trim paths. Let's place it above the stroke. Let's just go a couple of frames ahead and uh, I'll make the end zero. Add a keyframe and go a couple of frames. Add a keyframe to the start also. Let me go to frame 15 and make this 100. Let's give it an easy ease to this. All right. Uh, it will work for now. So next we have to have multiple instances of this animation. We could just duplicate it and rotate it but it's it's just too time consuming and you will end up with way too many layers and it will be very difficult to manage them. So what we could do is we'll go to the shape layer and let's add repeater. For this example as you can see the first one we have 4. I set the copies to 4. So by default when you add a repeater position property is set to 100 make sure you turn that to 0 to rotate it set it to 90 right and we have this in order to create uh, the second layer we'll just duplicate this and go to the repeater we'll increase the number of copies to 8 and uh, one neat little trick with this uh, thing is so we have eight copies, right? And we have we obviously have 360 degrees. So if you just divide it by eight, you will end up with end up displaying all the copies. So if let's just say you have 12 copies and you, you want everything to be visible, so you don't have to do the math basically. So After Effects will do that for you. So, but for this, let's just stick with eight. And now we have this. Just create another layer. And in for this, let's do 16. And in the, the, in the rotation properties, we will have to change that to mount. All right, we have this. Let's duplicate again and for this layer we'll do 32 copies. Go to rotate again 360 divided by 32. One last layer and for this we'll, we'll leave the properties as is. It's not looking that interesting I guess. So what we can do is we can just offset these layers in time. Let's disable all this. Go to the second layer, probably give it a couple of frames more offset. We'll offset all these layers and see how the animation is looking. So for the third layer, go to the shape properties. Inside of stroke, let's increase the width to 30. 
I know it looks completely different from uh, what I have done earlier. So if, if you want to get a result like this, all you have to do is just adjust the timing of these keyframes. You should end up with a result like this. I'll show you with uh, one of the layers. Let's just disable these and stick with three. I want it to grow till here and then slowly disappear, right? And I, I want uh, this length to be uniform, so let's just say. So for that, what we could do is in 13, what we could do is let's just move it here. Let's go to frame 23. Let's see how the animation looks. Let's just take a look at this layer. So initially I, I think the length is too big. So let's just move the keyframe back a little. Basically, you can control the length of uh, these strokes by adjusting uh, the start and end keyframes. Just adjust the keyframe stroke width and thing that I've showed you till now. And until you're happy with the result, I am happy with this. So what we could do is take this pre-comp and for the final result, I've duplicated this a couple of times. This applied uh, time reverse on one of the layers. Let's see how it looks. And also I have animated uh, the scale and rotation for these three. Just create a null, parent it. Go to the first frame, probably hit uh, 120. Rotate. Let's try 90. And that's it. It's quite easy actually. Uh, give it a try. I'm not sure if I have uh, covered everything, but I just I just wanted it to be like super quick. I hope you get the idea behind how you can create this kind of animations. If you have any doubts, uh, just hit me in the comments. So I'll, I'll try to uh, reply. The link to this project file is in the description. So uh, you can download it uh, if you want uh, to refer or modify on it. Feel free to do that. Hope this video has uh, been helpful.